Later tonight, Hell in a Cell. But coming up next, two legends of the CAW ring. Well, they've been legends in other places here in SCW. They're looking to make a name for themselves. And they're about to face off coming up next. And right there has been a legend in various CW leagues, notably a slam and jam Hall of Famer. I walk along the avenue. As well as I never thought I'd meet a flagship like event walked away as champion. Like a hardcore champion here in SCAW. So at our 10 year celebration, he needed a partner to fight Spider Man and Homer Simpson. He chose a partner. And I ran. I ran so far And they away. lost. So no doubt in my mind I just that Mercedes would blame his partner for that. And that's what we sell these guys as a team. William Wallace. The legend of NCA. He was the last champion. Last I checked, of that league, won it in their final match. Was Mercedes' partner? That was his first appearance in NCAW. He had his first singles match. The last episode of Action defeated Red Hood. He got in a confrontation with. And after that confrontation was attacked, by Tommy Versetti. You've got two superbly talented performers who have found success in the squared circle of various CAW leagues. As far as I know, this is the first time we've seen these two face each other one on one anytime, anywhere. Of course, I could be wrong. But we're seeing them here in SCAW. I'm sure not all people ever thought we'd see either of these guys in this league, but that that is where they are now. A drop kick by Versetti onto William Wallace. He told him to bring it, and yeah, he brought a fist there. And now they're just up and punches, and there was a kick in there too. But right now the fist fight is being won by William Wallace. He just missed a clothesline. That punch was blocked. And he... Oh, what a shot! Knocked him to the outside. And now Wallace with a dive onto Tommy Versetti. Wallace. Very noble. But, you know what? Some Maybe a crazy man. You never know what you're going to get. I don't think you know what you're going to get out of him. Well, Versetti is very cold, calculating. He knows he's got his plan. He's got his strategy. He's not afraid. He's, but he can get it done when he has to improvise. We've seen that as well. But he usually comes in with a plan. I think if you're going to be in there with someone like William Wallace, you're going to have to throw the plans out the window. He gets scoop slammed on the hard floor there. Almost scoop slammed him on the steps. Wallace seems willing to take it all over the place. Remember, there are no count outs or disqualifications in the mega events. Winners and losers here. I want to believe the first to Helen back was. More than 10 years ago. We didn't even have an official venue or city that we called it was in. But we had a Hell in a Cell match that night for the SCW Championship. It was, a, it was a second time he's done that on the outside. Throws it into the steel stairs there. The Close line again. These guys have spent more time on the outside than they have on the inside. 
Oh, and that was like a flapjack on the floor. We don't have all night to tell you about both these men's great accomplishments in this business. But neither of them are thinking about either of those things right now. They're thinking about beating the hell out of each other. Nice back suplex by William Wallace. And he's going to dive again. And this time Versetti is able to... Oh, and he dives there. And I think that that did not pay off the way he wanted it to. Both men down. We really spent a long time on the outside now. And Wallace is the first one up. We know both these men are tough. I don't think anybody's tougher than Wallace. I mean... Oh, there's a... There's walk right into like a spine buster there. Wallace can inflict... I think he can... Inf he can feed... He can be object himself to more pain. No pain, no gain. As some may say a, a jawbreaker right there. Another suplex. A Wallace to the top. Elbow drop. It does not connect. Now it's Mercedes' turn maybe to... Oh, he's got him here. The dirt nap. Got it. He got the dirt nap. Oh, but he rolled out to avoid getting pinned there. The resourcefulness of William Wallace to know where he was, but he gets dove onto there. Is dove onto a word? This has been pretty much non-stop fighting between these two. Except when they're both down like this, it's the second time that's happened. He continues to get physical on the outside. But it's not false count anywhere. It has to be decided in the ring. My God, can you believe the first Hell in a Cell match was 20 years ago this month? Oh, and he missed. Uh, he, he dived. I just remembered that statistic. Between Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker. In St. Louis. As he just... He just hit him in the ass with that chair. He asked his ch chaired his ass. And after it touched his ass, he just punched it into the face. Your ass is now in his face. Oh, and there's a... Well, the Claymore Slam. I've dubbed that the Claymore Slam. That doesn't make any sense. Because there used to be a football team called the Claymores in Scotland. Someone think that new name was stupid. Oh, and there's a... Well... That's one of the oldest tricks in the book, kicking him in the balls. Now he knows, how, now he knows what Gary Sanchez feels like. Because he took a ball to the balls. Uh-oh, sharpshooter on the floor! A sharpshooter on the floor here! And he, he, he can tap out here, but... It won't be over. Because, again, this is not Falls Count Anywhere. Well, you think of the amount of time they spent on the outside that it was. He did tap out, but don't, it doesn't matter. Now, Versetti's ass feels the chair. And again, he got two. I think that broke the chair. Well, somehow, I don't know how Versetti was able to evade. But now he gets bulldogged on the floor here. This has been a punishing match here. These two legends just beating the tar out of each other. Because SCW is basically an unknown territory for both men in terms of success. And they want to find success here in SCW. Wait, he just brought a kendo stick to the ring. He said he knocked it out of his hands. And oh, he knocks him off the apron there. Now he's trying to try that skull crusher on the floor. But it didn't work. He didn't get it. And now back in the ring.
Now let's see. He's going to go to the top here. Oh, he missed a splash there. And that's going to be an opening for Tommy Rossetti. Oh, here we go. The Skull Crusher got it. That could be it right there. No, he kicked out. Well, he just threw him with one arm right there. The Claymore Slam once again. Tell me if that's stupid or not. And he dropped a savage elbow right there. Hooks the leg. Here we go. No, kicked out of two. Said he kicked out. And now. What's he going to do here? Gonna go. To the outside. He wants some. He wants a chair. And no, that's, that didn't worry. Dove onto him. Get some more chair chair work to come, I guess. Where'd the Kindle stick go? Nice neck breaker right there. How the hell did he end up all the way over there? Um, I have no idea. He's got all right in the midsection right there. With that kendo stick. Did they have kendo sticks back in, in the time of William Wallace? And now, uh-oh. A back Russian leg sweep with the kendo stick. Shades of the Sandman. A suplex. I remember when the Sandman was in the WWE? That was cool. It was actually kind of fun. And then a couple elbow drops right there. And now in the corner. Hard Irish whip into that corner. And Wallace is standing, but that's all he's doing right now. And now what's Versetti doing? Wait, we saw this on the pre-show. Versetti just exposed that turnbuckle. So Jill Valentine helped her get a win over Harley Quinn. And back body drop to the outside, but he lands on the apron. So he's going to suplex him back inside. Never said he going to the top and he hits an elbow. Right in the Scottish heart of William Wallace. Now he, want, he, he felt that kendo stick earlier so. He wants Wallace to feel it and he does right there. Getting no disqualifications. And now they're fighting over a long thin piece of wood. And he's got him again! Another Russian leg sweep! And now, sharpshooter time! In the middle of the ring, and he may have to tap out here! Rossetti's he's got a long way to go to get to the ropes! He's, he's trying to get there! Is he gonna be able to do it? Oh, he does! I'll tell you, I didn't think he was gonna make it. Versetti, I don't know what has he got left. Uh oh, wait. Oh, Spunk Spose turnbuckle! Exposed turnbuckle. Oh, no, he's gonna hit me with again! Two exposed turnbuckles. And a skull crusher! Well, now that might be it. Oh, oh now he wants to go for the dirt nap. I got it. Exposed turnbuckle twice, skull crusher, dirt nap, goes to the cover, and it's over. Versetti has won it. It's a very physical. This was Smash Mouth to Smash Mouth. Versetti is your winner. I walk along the avenue. Exposed turnbuckle. I never thought I'd meet a 
A ton of fun kendo stick punching and uh, fighting on the floor. This is brutal. He got to see well he earned it. No question. Said he did get the win here. Could have gone either way. Yet it was Rossetti who won here tonight. We all have moments. Moments where we surpass our own expectations. Sometimes these moments are small. And sometimes they're larger than life. Because there's something great in all of us. Something that connects us. That inspires us. It's why when we fall, we get up again. It's why we give back. And we don't give up. It's what makes all of us, in our own way, heroes. For the hero in all of us. God, what an a-hole. Seriously. Coming up next, it will be the NCAA Legends Championship. The Prince of Persia will face Ichigo Kurosaki in two out of three falls. Let's go back to last flag. So awesome. Ichigo assaulted by the Prince of... Look at this. The post there, and his foot. Look at this. Oh! That's in some major damage. I can tell you that he did go through, Ichigo did go through concussion protocol following that. He did not, I repeat, did not suffer a concussion. We are told he is ready to go, but I can't think he's 100%. Prince just endeared himself to nobody in this building. But the things he just said. Meanwhile, who's in better shape, David Carr or Ichigo Kurosaki? I had to go there. 
sure they'd like, I'm sure the fans of Oakland would like this guy to leave instead of the Raiders. They'll be heading to Vegas in a few years. Well, the Raiders can still take solace in knowing they're still the most popular football team in the city of Los Angeles. And the Chargers who play in Los Angeles are probably the fifth most popular team, according to the Raiders. Ooh, the best for anybody who's a Chargers fan. They're probably going to lose to the Giants, who are also winless. Anyway, Ichigo Kersey can seize hold the SCW Legends Championship, which he won shortly after Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Ichigo defeated the Prince of Persia in Spring Showdown. Shortly after that, the Prince got a pinfall in a tag match. He has his help the track got a pinfall over Ichigo. We still have a war of words in our 10 year celebration, and this match was announced. And it was decided to be two out of three falls to determine a fair winner. This should be a really good matchup. I want to throw out the opinions and attitudes of both guys. But when Sin Ichigo has been on this road to redemption, he is, he is, he is on, he is, he has reached redemption, in my opinion. Arguably one of the greatest SCW superstars of all time. Incredible fan favorite in this match. Thanks to the words of the Prince of Persia. Coming up next, two out of three falls for the SCW Legends Championship.